thank you, Lisa, uh, for those humbling remarks. <laughs> uh, I'm certainly humbled in this audience for all this creativity here, because I'm certainly not one of those people. Um, but when uh, Lisa introduced me to Maya and girls right now, um, my view was pretty simple. Got mentors and mentees, and the model works if people in need happen to be women, um, but the model is so strong, enabling, uh, let's say, women of less privilege that needed some help to get a foundation, to build uh, a great foundation for their lives, this model worked. Uh, and it was originally to get high school women uh, to have confidence in themselves, believe in their dreams, realize their dreams. And that was special because the at that time, 100% of the mentees were going on to college, which was astounding. So to me, it was just simple. Here's a model that works. You know, why don't, why don't, we, uh, why don't we support it? And you heard uh, tonight um, from Jody about nourishment, giving these women their voices. Um, you know, pretty astounding. So as a business guy, Maya and I talked, I said, how are you going to scale this? How are you going to scale girls right now? I said, most businesses are difficult enough to grow and expand, and you need to rely on outside funding, gifts from people each year to do this. And you know, back then, girls, I was just in Manhattan with Probably, I don't know if there were a hundred, a couple hundred uh, girls involved in it. So we said, how, how are we going to scale? Well, now we're looking at, you know, 3,500, 4,000 women across the country. So we have to give the team uh, just a round of applause for just accomplishing that. So that's a, a great testament to a successful 25 years. So where do we go next? So um, Maya, as she mentioned, and her team have, have a broader vision uh, of what Girls Right Now can do beyond just helping young women get through high school and get into college, but career help as they're managing their careers. Uh, providing services to organizations that need talent. Um, so they, they put together a very broad ambition. I'm not going to go through all the details. You know, next generation uh, uh, strategy. It, within that journey, um, since uh, Lisa mentioned, I'm heavily involved in AI, have been for quite a while. So I, um, I said, you know, um, you know, AI is going to be a powerful tool, uh, but it will profoundly affect the careers of both mentors and mentees. AI will be a powerful tool for writers, augmenting their capabilities and leading to new kinds of writing careers. However, AI will, be a, oh, will also raise important moral and ethical questions about the role of human creativity and the future of the writing profession. These are really complex issues. I'm confident that Maya and her team are on top of it. And the only way to move forward with all this coming at us is to get in it, do it, and go figure it out. And I'm confident you will. And thank you again for the award.